Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have decided to do a video that I always wish that someone had done for me when I was younger and that is a foundation video for really pale skin. Now there are a lot of foundation videos out there that give really good advice about how to find foundations like going to makeup counters, getting a sample pot, taking it home, trying it with your skincare routine, trying it out in natural light, getting them to put it on your skin but also applying it the way that you apply foundation and that it's all completely true, you do need to do that, you do need to go and try products out, like try them on the insides of your arm, on your jaw or even get a full face done, ask for a sample, absolutely do that. But the one thing that nobody, I never found anybody did on YouTube was give examples of foundations to look at. And that is what I have done today. I have got nine foundations in total to show you. These are all my own foundations that I do use on a daily basis. I've got light coverage, medium coverage, and heavy coverage. I also have several different formulas to help suit different skin types. My skin is predominantly dry and I pack on the moisturizer. Um, so some of these will act differently on different skins. Uh, to start things, I want to share, talk to you about other light coverage foundations. Um, and I've got three here. I've got the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation, and this is in the shade Porcelain. This is a really lovely powder foundation, and actually it really doesn't dry out my dry skin, which I find really unique about it, because it's a baked cream, so it's actually surprisingly nourishing on my skin. And the thing I like about this most is you can dust it on as a really light coverage, and you can build it up to a slightly more moderate coverage. I've then got two BB creams that I wanted to mention. I've got the MAC Beauty Balm in the shade Extra Light and I've also got the Body Shop Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream in the shade 01. I will put all the prices for these foundations in the description bar below. Um, the reason I meant, wanted to talk about the BB cream from the body shop is because it's got tea tree in it. And this is really, really good if you've got teenage skin. So if you've got acne and breakouts, but you don't want to wear anything heavy on your skin, this is great because it's got skincare ingredients in it that are going to help fight your blemishes. The only drawback I have found with this one is that it does oxidise quite a bit. Moving on to the MAC one, this one I wanted to mention because it is exceptionally light coverage, but it has SPF in it. This is the old one which has had SPF 50 in it, the new one has SPF 35. That is still a really, really good SPF. So if you just want something light on your skin that you can just use for every day but you don't want coverage, this is fantastic because it's going to protect you from the sun. And if you are super pale like me, you need to have SPF in your everyday routine. Moving on to more moderate coverage foundations, I've got the uh, Rimmel Match Perfection Hydrating Foundation in the shade 010 Light Porcelain. I've got the MAC Mineralize Foundation in the shade NW13. And I also have the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick in shade 2 Abundant Alabaster. I'll start with the Clinique. This is a stick foundation, so it's a different formulation. It looks like that. Um, and one thing I will mention with the Clinique is this is actually too dark for my skin, even in summer, sadly. But I wanted to put it in there for some people who aren't quite as pale as me. It's also just a different formula because you might not get along with a powder, you might not get along with a liquid. A stick foundation could be something worth trying because you might it might work for you. Up next is the MAC Mineralize Foundation. This was one of the first MAC foundations I ever got. I can only really use this one in summer because I am so fair. So when the summer when I get a little bit more colour, I then opt for this one. It's also got SPF 15 in it as well, which is really important. That's something I love with MAC foundations, is nearly all of them have got SPF in them. Finally, we've got the Rimmel Match Perfection in shade, in shade 010 Light Porcelain. I put this in because it's always important to have a drugstore alternative. Not everyone always has enough money to be able to afford foundations like from Clinique and from MAC and from Laura Geller. I know I didn't when I was a teenager. So this is a really great drugstore alternative. Again, it's got SPF 20 in it, which I think is really important. So um, this is a definitely an honourable mention if you're on more of a budget and want a medium for coverage foundation. Finally, I have three heavy coverage foundations right here. We'll start with one from the drugstore, which is a more affordable alternative. And I've got the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation in shade 015 Porcelain. 
This is a really heavy coverage foundation and builds up really nicely. You can apply it with a brush or beauty blender or with your fingers, which is something I really like about it. It will oxidize ever so slightly throughout the day, but not enough really to cause any problems. I still use this on the regular. I'm actually almost out of this one now. I need to go and buy another one. I like it that much. I will repurchase it. Moving on to two slightly more expensive foundations. I wanted to mention this one, and this is the Lancome Tint Miracle Bare Skin Foundation. And it's got, and I have the shade 005. This is the lightest shade that they make. No, not much surprise there. This is most definitely a summer foundation for me, as it is simply too dark for my skin in the winter when I'm super, super pale. Um, but this, I think, is lovely, as it gives a slight warmth to the skin, but it's not too yellow-toned, which is something that you had, and I need to avoid, because if I use a yellow-toned foundation, it really doesn't look right with my skin. It makes me look muddy. I tend to need a neutral-toned foundation, but I will go towards the pinkier-toned ones if I need to. This has also got SPF 15 in it, so I think it's a really lovely honourable mention. It is a heavier coverage foundation, but you can sheer it out if you want to. I've got a terrible voice at the moment, it's so bad. Finally, and this is the foundation, if you watch any of my videos, you've probably seen me use the most, and this is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in shade NW10. This is the palest foundation that MAC make if you don't have a pro card. So pro makeup artists can access the pure white foundations, whereas us normal everydayers can't. This is their palest one. I absolutely love this because you can build it up into a really heavy coverage or have it moderate medium if you want to. It's the foundation I'm wearing right now for this video. This is my go-to every day if I'm traveling and can only take one foundation with me. This is the one I take. All right then, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I'm not saying that these foundations will work for you, but what I'm saying is, is if you're looking to get some foundations, to get started, these could be some things to look at, to try. They may not work for you, they may be absolutely perfect, but it's going to give you something to go on if that's what you need. Because uh, that's what I never had. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful if you need if you need to find some foundations. If you don't, then you've got to see my foundation collection. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.